today's video is not a lecture. It's rather a story about bones. Uh, bone is a complex structure which undergoes complex metabolism. It's difficult to remember all the steps and recollect them during the exam. So I have come up with this story. I hope you like it and it helps you remember. So some basic background. If you closely look at the nanostructure, this is what you see. The long fibrils of collagen and interspread with these blue crystals which are minerals. Hydroxypatite crystals which means uh, calcium and phosphate. So this structure is very much akin to a road or a flyover or a ceiling where there is a uh, there are iron rods interspread with the concrete and cement mixture. So if you go deeper into comparison you will notice that the rods the rods of the road are actually the collagen fibers. Cement mixture is the binding mucopolysaccharides together they form the osteoid and the concrete that is the uh, concrete are like crystal so you can compare them to the our bone undergoes modeling and the modeling is a continuous process it's a normal physiological process in response to mechanical stresses that, put, that are put on the bone and it's very important for the health of the bone. Uh, bone is not a static organ it's not like the bone that you had developed in your childhood or teenage it's the bone that you're having right now okay so it in almost 10 years whole body bone is replaced with a new bone on an average you can say that and why does that happen one to increase and to maintain the strength of the bone second our bone acts as a reservoir of minerals so whenever there is a, an issue or there is shortage of minerals in the body system then this reservoir is taken in, in use and then the bone is uh, broken down and the minerals are taken out so you can compare this to a uh, situation in which the roads are taken down and new road is laid down just to maintain this uh, the strength of the road or the uh, or the belt of the roads right so you can compare both the structure and the functioning of the roads to the booking the story further uh, we compare our bone to a road and bone acts as a reservoir similarly our roads act as a reservoir of concrete concrete are the calcium or the phosphate the minerals so this uh, this gentleman is in charge he looks after uh, the level of concrete in the market Okay, whenever there is a low concrete level in the market in circulation, then he is activated because he is the chief supervisor. He has to take action. So some things he will do on his own, and some things he will get done by other helpers. Okay, what can he do? To, to, for a low concrete volume in the market, he can decrease the export of concrete. He can increase the import. What is coming in, he can increase the rate. And third, he can mobilize some from the reservoir. What is the reservoir of concrete? Our roads. But there is one problem. Uh, while the roads are being built by the builder and crushed by the crusher, our chief can only talk to the builder, not to the crusher. So he will tell the builder, "Hey, man." Uh, we need to take out, take down some uh, part of the road so that can be used for uh, you know low concrete in the market. So this builder guy, he will tell his manager, who is Mr. Opi Gupta, he manages the finance. So unless you give money, uh, work will stop, right? So this this Opi Gupta is very good with money. He holds the money till he's asked, till it is necessary, and he gets order from above, as you know. So as he gets the order, he will give this money to the manager of the crusher. And as this manager, he's the poor one, so we call him the drunk in Hindi. Drunk is poor. Okay. So as he gets the money, he recruits more and more crusher and so the crushing process starts. This mobilizes just not just the minerals, not just the, the concrete, but it also mobilizes uh, other parts like rods and cement mixture. Though we just need the concrete, but if you're taking down, everything is taken down. So this is what the crusher does. The important point to notice here is that the chief cannot talk directly to the crusher. He has to take help of builder who will then ask his uh, manager Opi Gupta and Gupta will give money to Rank and then crusher will act. And we have Mr. Tony here also who will sense excess concrete in the market and then he will suppress the, uh, keep the crusher silent. So this is the normal process. Okay, and as you can see, besides this reservoir function, uh, our chief will also act on the export and import section that we will also deal with in some way. Okay, so coming to, if you go back a slide, you see that our chief was trying to increase the import by asking the deputy. Who is the deputy? In India, you can call him the Daruga. So he is a uh, deputy. So there are two types of deputies. One, who is stronger, he takes sunlight, he eats non-veg, and so he is uh, the stronger one who has got three medals. On the other hand, we have one deputy who is a veggie, and maybe that's why he has got only two medals. And it is not very relevant to us in the story. So what do they do? They work at the orders of the chief and their purpose is to increase the circulation of this concrete in the market whenever it's low. Why, why it's so much fuss about this uh, concrete? Because you know this concrete is used for building dams, for building railway tracks, for building uh, new power uh, stations, uh, a lot of other things, but these are the important ones. And how do they exactly do that? So because deputies or the Darugas are not equipped for that, so they are sent for training to Liverpool. So Liverpool is important. They are sent to Liverpool for training uh, for 25 days. For intensive training of 25 days, on the 25th day itself, they get the certificate. You can call that certificate OH certificate. Okay, uh, find the relevance now. So after completing, completing 25 days of uh, total training at Liverpool, they are then sent to the action site, which means at the site of export where this concrete is being exported continuously. So he has to act there besides acting at other places. At export site also, he needs further training, the final training. And this training is given by an alpha commando. And this training is complete within one day because now he has to act at the export site. Right? So he will now start acting. Uh, which we'll see in the next slide how he will act. In case he is not now recruited after this activation, he is not uh, recruited into the main work, then he will lie there for 24 days and after 24 days he will be deactivated. So this guy, you see, was training for 25 days in Liverpool and then one day training uh, at the export site where he was given training by the special alpha commandos and he, did you notice that he got two certificates now, OH, double OH. And then he has got informers. So he uses his informers to act at all the places possible, the import site, 
so that he can increase the import of concrete at the export site, he can decrease the export and on the reservoir and now correlate it to the actual situation. So this PWD chief is actually the parathormone chief because it is secreted by the chief cells of the parathyroid gland. So what does he do? He senses that the calcium uh, is low in the blood, serum calcium is low, concrete is low in the market and so he talks to the osteoblast because he cannot talk to the osteoclast and also he decreases export which means he decreases the export or excretion of this calcium in, re uh, in kidney that is called renal retention of calcium and it increases import which means he, it increases e absorption of calcium in intestine and that he does by using that daroga or the deputy vitamin D, D for daroga, right. So how does he act in sync with osteoblasts, he asks osteoblast to talk to the crusher. Now, crusher will work only with money. So osteoblast, money here is the ligand, you will come to know that. So osteoblast has got receptors on it, which are the OPG receptors. These are decoy for the rank ligand, which is rank ligand. Eh? So these OPG keeps the money to himself, like OP Gupta kicked money. So OPG keeps rank L or the ligand to himself, uh, or the receptor keeps the rank ligand bound to itself, so that the rank receptors on the osteoblasts, the rank receptors means the osteoclasts have their managers or the receptors. So these osteoclasts have the receptors called rank. Uh, these will bind to the ligand and then they will get activated and bone will start getting crushed. So we don't want that all the time. So unless this OPG gets signal from osteoblast, it won't release the rank ligand, which is the money. So this money rank ligand is released by OPG and then gets bound to rank receptor on the osteoclast. And then this osteoclast start working. Okay, and this tony was actually calcitonin, which keeps it under suppression. Also, we have the deputy. Uh, we can correlate it to the vitamin D. So this uh, deputy with two medals is actually vitamin D2 and the one with three medals is vitamin D3. Uh, why he gets meat? Because we get vitamin D3 from non-veg sources mainly, then it's called cholecalciferol. In fact, the sunlight uh, converts 7 dehydro cholesterol in our skin to vitamin D3 only because D2 ha is not that potent and so we have kept it out from the story. D2 oh, is from the vegetable sources. So our daroga was having uh, two medals was eating veg. And this concrete is obviously calcium. Now this dam, you can uh, correlate it to the function of blood clotting. You can relate the railway tracks to the role of calcium in skeletal muscle contraction. And you can relate this power uh, plants to the role of calcium in uh, nerve conduction. So that is to show how important the calcium is. Now this story of their training. So how does it go? Uh, sunlight, like I said, converts 7 dehydroxy cholesterol in skin to vitamin D3. You have to remember, it is just vitamin D3 and it hasn't, it hasn't done any training, it's not activated. Even the dietary sources will give you vitamin D3 mainly. D2 is not that active. So it goes to liver pool or liver for training and it gets what kind of certificate? OH certificate which is actually OH is hydroxylation and when did, when did he get that certification on 25th day? So this hydroxylation in liver takes place, place at 25th position okay and then he goes to the export site. Export site is kidney obviously it's kidney where calcium is going to be exported or anything. So second training was for just one day and was given by alpha commandos and it gave him another OH. So this second hydroxylation is by one because one day training alpha because alpha commando so one alpha hydroxylase this one alpha hydroxylase is very important because we have 25 hydroxylase also but i didn't give you a trainer named as hydroxylase 25y because it's not that relevant clinically i'll tell you uh, we have a, a disease because of the absence of this commando one alpha hydroxylase that is why it's important and once uh, the second hydroxylation takes place in kidney our normal vitamin d3 becomes activated calcitriol which has two hydroxylations now actually one was originally uh, and then two were added in liver and kidney respectively so it is try all now and two positions one and 25 25 was done in kidney, uh, in liver and one was done in kidney. So it is 125 dihydroxy calcitriol. Okay. In case it is not activated, not used on 24th day, I told you uh, it gets deactivated. So this is, uh, this one is when this is not used and then it becomes 24, 25 dihydroxy. This is an inactive form. Okay. And then we know that this uh, deputy works in, uh, in the conjunction with uh, his informers. Okay. So these informers are actually the vitamin D receptors you see. So vitamin D got the receptors on intestine, the import side, kidney, the export side and bone, the reservoir. So vitamin D receptors, VDR are present everywhere and all of them try to increase the calcium level in the blood. In fact, that PTH, PTH is uh, that PWD chief. It also has got uh, receptors like you saw in the bone, you saw the whole process. It can act on the export side kidney itself, but not on the intestine. That is to be noted. Story and correlation is over. Now we'll try to find out the diseases which can arise due to problem in this story. How? There can be problem in the liver pool in getting the sunlight, in getting the food, see, uh, the training in Liverpool or at the export site or there can be problem with the Alpha Commando. This problem can be acquired at or it can be from the beginning which means that Alpha Commando can get sick or it may not be present at all. So all this will uh, actually affect the activation and training of our Commando, our deputy, right? So what happens if you do not get sunlight, if you do not get non-veg or adequate diet, then you have vitamin D3 deficiency, right? This is when you do not have vitamin D at all. You do not have the deputy, so you cannot think of training. Suppose you, are get, you have the deputy and you do not have the liver pool where it needs to get trained. So this can happen in liver diseases or in uh, medications like phenytoin, which causes uh, defect in the hydro 25th uh, hydroxylation, okay? And suppose 
it got trained for 25 days in liver but there was some problem at the export site like i told you there may be deficiency of uh, the alpha commando that can be present uh, since birth which we call as vdd r1 or vitamin d uh, dependent rickets uh, type 1 or it can be absent in chronic kidney diseases right so this will be one alpha hydroxylase commando deficiency that will cause inact uh, inability to activate not inactivate vitamin d so in all these scenarios what will you get you will get a shortage of vitamin d another thing that can happen is that we have the activated commando deputy but we do not have the informers so if there is a problem with the receptors then you can have another type of uh, vddr2 that is type 2 vitamin d uh, deficiency or dependent rickets okay so this is the classification according to what we just get to know at yeah, the possible defects in the, this process of osteoblast and osteoclast activity you can find that uh, one thing i forgot to tell you is that this op gupta who likes money very much uh, and keeps hold of money until and unless asked to do so also listens to his wife wife has got estrogen remember women have got estrogen so his wife also uh, asks him not to give money to anything anyone else so if the wife is gone then this tendency is gone so you can correlate it to estrogen deficiency as occurs in uh, uh, menopausal postmenopausal women so if there is a deficiency of estrogen or if uh, Gupta's wife is gone, he will have no inhibition in letting the money go off. And then he will give the rank ligand to rank and rank will be activated and will start digging up the bone, which happens in post-menopausal women with estrogen deficiency. Similarly, what happens in Paget's disease is this Opi Gupta is, uh, becomes mad or pagal uh, and he doesn't listen to anyone what the osteoblast or the builder is selling or the mother class. So it keeps, it starts working on his own. So it first starts uh, crushing and then new bone will form but will not be that strong. And in osteopetrosis, what happens? The crushers are actually petrified. I don't know. Means the crusher or the osteoclasts are dysfunctional. So what will happen? There will be no digging. And if there's no digging, then bone will keep on. No new bone will keep on, though it will be not of good quality, but new layer of bone will be kept on laying down. So this gives rise to osteopetrosis or marble bone disease. Okay. Osteoporosis, what happens in osteoporosis? Overall load size is decreased, volume is decreased, like in osteomalacia, there is definitely decrease in the concrete only, otherwise it's okay because it's defective mineralization. Huh? Osteopetrosis, there is excess new load without digging out the old bad road. So this is how you correlate everything, all the aspects, and it helps you remember. So close this down and try to recapitulate, recapitulate whole story. Things will be very easy to remember. In the next part, I will tell you how the labs are in fact, in uh, investigations are affected and how the treatment are devised. Okay, hope you like it.